Are you dreaming of starting your own blueberry farm, but not sure where to start? Don't worry, you're about to begin an exciting journey into the world of blueberries. We'll guide you from scratch to the finish line, showing you all the steps from planting your idea to harvesting delicious blueberries. Whether you're just starting out or already doing research, this guide is here to help. So let's get started. From the succulent green fields to the sweet, juicy berries, there's something truly magical about growing your own blueberries. Packed full of vitamins and antioxidants, these little blue gems are like nature's own health pills. Plus, they're versatile. You can eat them fresh, bake them into pies, or blend them into smoothies. They're not just yummy, they're also super good for you. Blueberries are packed with stuff that keeps you healthy, like vitamins and antioxidants. And guess what? People love them. That means there's a big demand for blueberries, and that's good news if you want to start a blueberry farm. Blueberries are a perennial crop, which means once you plant them, they keep coming back year after year. That's like having a fruit-filled gold mine right in your backyard. That means steady income without having to replant everything. Pretty cool, right? So if you've got a knack for growing stuff and want to make some money, blueberry farming could be just the thing for you. But how do you start? Step 1. Conducting Market Research First off, why is market research so important? Well, think of it like this. Before you start planting those blueberries, you need to know if people actually want to buy them, right? Market research helps you understand your potential customers and what they're looking for. It's like peeking into their shopping baskets to see what they like. So, how do you do it? Before you start planting blueberries, it's important to know who wants them and why. That's where market research comes in. It's simply like asking your friends what they like before planning a party. You want to make sure everyone has a good time. First, figure out who might want your blueberries. Are they people who like healthy snacks or maybe chefs who need fresh ingredients? Knowing your customers helps you grow the right kind of berries for them. Next, let's gather some info. Look at what other blueberry farms are doing and what people are buying. You can do this by asking questions, like in surveys, or by looking at reports about what's popular. The goal here is to learn as much as you can about the people who might buy your blueberries. That way, you can make sure your farm grows the right berries for them. Step 2. Analyzing demand for blueberries Once you know who might want your blueberries, it's time to figure out how much they want them. Are they just a few people or a whole bunch? And why do they want them? For snacking, cooking, or something else? By understanding what your customers want, you can make sure your blueberries are a hit. Maybe you'll grow organic berries for health-conscious folks, or big ones for baking pies. Knowing what people want helps you grow the right berries for them. Step 3. Evaluating the supply side Now, let's see what other blueberry farms are up to. Of course, if you're a chef, you would like checking out other chefs' recipes before cooking your own meal, you want to see what's out there. Take a look at other farms in your area. What are they growing, and how are they selling it? Are there things they're not doing that you could try? By knowing what others are doing, you can find ways to stand out and grow your farm better. Step 4. Plan your blueberry farm Now that you've got a good grasp of the blueberry market, let's dig into planning your very own blueberry farm. This step is crucial for setting up a solid foundation for your business to thrive. Here's what you need to consider. Choose the right location. First things first, you need to pick the perfect spot for your blueberry farm. Look for a location with plenty of sunlight, good drainage, and acidic soil. Blueberries love that stuff. Consider factors like elevation, proximity to water sources, and frost risk. Look for areas with mild winters and cool summers like the Pacific Northwest or certain parts of the northeastern United States. Next thing is selecting blueberry varieties. There are tons of different blueberry varieties out there, each with its own flavor, size, and growing requirements. Do some research to find varieties that thrive in your climate and soil conditions. Some popular varieties include Duke, Blue Crop, and Chandler. Consider factors like ripening time, disease resistance, and yield potential when choosing your varieties. What about irrigation? Blueberries need plenty of water to thrive, especially during the growing season. Consider installing an irrigation system to ensure your plants stay hydrated. Drip irrigation is a popular choice for blueberry farms because it delivers water directly to the roots, minimizing waste and reducing the risk of disease. Consider pest control. Keep those pesky pests at bay with an integrated pest management plan. This means using a combination of cultural, biological, and chemical control methods to keep pests under control while minimizing environmental impact. Keep an eye out for common blueberry pests like aphids, mites, and fruit flies, and take steps to prevent infestations before they become a problem. Practice crop rotation. To keep your soil healthy and prevent disease buildup, it's important to practice crop rotation. This means alternating your blueberry plants with other crops like legumes or grasses to break up pest and disease cycles. Plan out a rotation schedule to ensure maximum soil fertility and long-term sustainability for your farm. 
Do you think you can now start your own blueberry farm? Sure, but before you get started, let's talk about getting the financing and resources you'll need to make it happen. Step 5. Securing Funds First, let's consider funds. Starting a blueberry farm costs a lot, but there are ways to get the money you need. You could borrow money from a bank, get help from the government, or even ask people online to give you money. No matter how you do it, you need enough money to buy land, get equipment, hire people to help, and build things like sheds and water systems. Step 6. Fetching Resources Needed Now, let's talk about the things you need to run your farm. You'll need land with good soil and the right weather for blueberries to grow. You'll also need things like tractors, pipes to bring water to your plants, and tools to pick the berries. And don't forget about the people who will work on your farm, you'll need a team to help you out. Step 7. Building Your Brand How about telling people about your farm? Once your farm is ready, you need to tell people about it so they'll buy your berries. This means creating a brand for your farm, like a logo and a name, and telling people why your farm is special. You can use social media like Facebook and Instagram to show off your farm and talk to customers. You can also go to markets and events in your area to meet people and sell your berries. Step 8. Marketing Strategy What do you need to keep running your farm day to day? You'll need to plant the berries, keep them healthy, and pick them when they're ripe. You'll also need to watch out for bugs and diseases that can hurt your plants. And when it's time to sell your berries, you need to make sure you have enough and that people will want to buy them. Step 9. Managing your farm Finally, you need to manage your farm to keep it growing over time. As your farm gets bigger, you might want to do more things like growing different kinds of berries or making things like jam or juice from your berries. You can also try selling your berries in new places or finding new customers who want to buy them. So, starting a blueberry farm is a big job and a profitable business. If you work hard and plan carefully, you can make it happen. Are you now prepared to start your profitable blueberry business today? Give your comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more engaging content. Until next time, thanks for watching.